How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. So we've got ourselves, um, of course, another team of the season, as you would expect. Um, so yeah, we have got Sinistera, who I wanted to use. Um, I went out and bought, and he looks good to me. Um, you know, he's really your, you know, your traditional off-league winger. You know, the really high pace stats, really high agility, balance. Um, and you know these types of players are always meta, um, you know, not necessarily always um, high-end cards necessarily, but they're always going to be very useful, um, especially off the bench um, and as you know super sub. So um, yeah, not much. Um, he'll only cost you around probably 30k. So um, you know even the poorest of poor can uh, can afford that. And yeah, although the links aren't perfect, um, like I said, um, and you also have. I guess Gakpo, who um, is probably better, um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of off the bench, um, I'm sure he could make a very good impact. So, um, to start out with, um, I will, so the pace, right, he's got 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, um, I don't really need to go on a tangent there, as you would expect, he's quite rapid, very good at getting in behind, finding space, exploiting the space, and an area that is definitely one of his strongest. Um, you look at the dribbling, right? So he's got 99 agility, 99 balance as well. Um, so not only on the ball, he's very rapid on the ball. So something I did notice that I liked about this card is his ability, um, let's say, splitting the defense with his runs. Um, you know, he's very explosive, and he has that ability where he's kind of able to kind of slide through um, in these tight spaces, you know? So, yeah, with that pace... The agility and balance, that mobility is just going to feel very responsive and very quick. So, yeah, those four stats are uh, are going to make him feel incredible in game, you know, on the ball um, and just making runs. Um, and then you go to 90 ball control, 97 dribbling. He's also got four-star skills. Um, and, yeah, he's very good in tight spaces um, when it comes to, um, you know, beating the defense, the man, and, uh, yeah, you know, creating... Uh, open space for attacking chances. Um, so yeah, I like him on the ball. He feels he, his left stick um, is really good. Now the thing that will probably you know keep him from you know not being an elite player. He's a great you know he's a good player, but he's not elite. And, and the reason for that is going to be the 81 reactions, 83 composure, which both those stats uh, for a team of the season I would say is quite low. And um, you know, you can definitely feel that in some instances with the dribbling. Um, you know, when you compare him, obviously, let's say, I guess, Anthony, for example. Um, you know, you can definitely feel a slight difference when it comes to the technical ability. But otherwise, um, you know, I think, I think, um, you know, you, you'll be very impressed with how um, he's able to, I guess, manipulate the ball. Um, and then you go into the shooting. So I was actually pleasantly surprised. He was quite, um, you know, quite clinical in front of goal. Um, and he has four-star weak foot. Feels like a five-star, though. Um, you know, most of our goals, I feel like, were driven across goal um, with his weaker left foot. Um, he also has outside the foot trait, um, which you can see. Um, I mean, although this is quite a straightforward goal, um, him utilizing that trait. So, um, yeah, that's a very good trait. Um, but also his, like I said, also the left foot is uh, is still very good. So, um, yeah, very good goal scorer. He's got 86 finishing, 88 shot power. Um, also the 95 volleys, which we did score a really nice volley. I don't know where it is exactly, but yeah, you can definitely expect uh, quite a bit of goals from him. Now, um, in terms of goal contributions, um, so we played our whole... Actually, you know, we finished our whole weekend league um, playing all 20 games with Sinistera. And, um, you know, in the beginning, I'd say, let's say, 0 to plus 7 ELO. Um, you know, he was very impact, you know, very impactful. Um, but I say when you get to the very high level, you know, let's say plus 10, um, when I was probably around, let's say, 12 and 1 maybe around there um you, you could definitely see a drop off in the numbers and uh the influence um so that is definitely going to be expected um you know if, if we're talking about high end high level if you're you know really sweaty player 
um, you know, he's he's not going to be able to influence necessarily, I feel like he won't be able to necessarily influence as strongly, but, um, you know, I feel like you can still get a lot a lot of use um, out of him in terms, and I'm talking about goal contribution, um, you know, when it comes to, let's say, passing, you know, he's got um, 90 vision, 93 short pass, which I really like, um, the link up is very good, very accurate, and, you know, most of the link up was just a simple a bumper pass you know the one two and then he's off and running so um yeah i mean it's as i said with anthony you know it's your it's your traditional winger very fast very nimble very mobile and uh, technically very good he maneuvers very well uh in tight areas um and then you know decent decent goal scorer decent uh decent passing so yeah for me for your price, the value, I think he is a fantastic option. And yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend him. And, you know, if you get him untradeable, it's definitely not a bad option to bring um, off the bench. So yeah, that's uh, that's going to be my review. Please like, of course, subscribe, comment down below who you'd like to see next. And thank you for watching.